I'm John Paul. And I'm TJ. And we're Surfer Blood. Tyler and myself have been playing music together since, you know, God knows when, just basically for a really long time. And we could never find the right people to play with, but we had all these songs written, so we're like, well, you know, we're going to go into the studio and we're going to record them. And by the end of the second day, we barely had any of the, all the drum tracks down and we were running out of money and everything else. So we kind of like took the project into our own hands, kind of, and recorded it in my apartment. And then somewhere around this time, we met Tom and Brian, who aren't here with us right now. I think they're getting a falafel down the street. But um, yeah, and you know, Tom was like, I really like your music and I really want to tour and I really want to do this for real. And you know, we were both kind of like, well, this is what we've wanted to do for a really long time, so let's do it. And we were all kind of in the right place. Punk, if you slowed it down and added more melodic elements to it and um, affected it and made the guitar parts more complicated. Um, I'd say very Metronic. Um, and I guess kind of 90s sounding. A lot of complicated vocal melodies that are really hard to execute live, and rhythm sections that have syncopation. Syncopation. These are all words that describe music. My first concert I ever went to uh, was The Offspring at the West Palm Beach Arena. I was in like third grade, and um, seeing my principal sell liquor outside the bathroom. Like, I went out, I went to like, take a piss and, uh, you can, like, yeah. And, uh, yeah, my principal was selling behind the bar liquor. Okay. And that, that's always, like, troubled me and kind of influenced me to keep on going to play music. Um, I knew that I wanted to be in a band. Um, my friend was in a band when I was in high school and they played with this band a few times from Miami called Pygmy who no one really remembers anymore, and like no one outside of Florida really knows, but they were like making really weird, kind of off-the-cuff music that was still really awesome and like had its really catchy parts, and the singer was just this crazy dude, he was like six foot six, and he'd go out into the crowd and roll around on the floor, and everyone was so into it, I'm like, wow, you know, I want to be in a cool band like this someday. This guy used to just eat only sugar and bacon for lunch and dinner. We don't know, we haven't heard from him in years. I think it's wonderful that, um, uh, that a company like Scion would be willing to invest in young artists and being willing to help them kind of get their, you know, their feet on the ground, so to speak, um, instead of just hoarding all the money and you know, doing something really mean and nasty with it, like building an oil rig. I think, I, think it's, I think it's a cool thing. It's kind of a way of giving back in a weird way, but you're also supporting arts and culture, so, you know, I mean, it's awesome. Thank you.